Houston Texans at the Las Vegas Raiders. Right now, the Raiders are seven-point home favorites, a total of 45 and a half or 46. Adam, I'm going to start with you because I know you've looked into this one. Both teams coming off of a bye here. I would say that we would all agree the Raiders are probably the best of the bad teams out there. The Texans are the Texans, a bottom five team by pretty much any way you look at it. My question is, is do you feel comfortable at a touchdown with a Raiders squad that, again, has, for whatever reason, figured out ways to lose games despite the the talent, despite hanging in there for a few of these different games. And you do have a team coming off of a bye. Do we believe at all that the minimal amount of talent that the Texans have that you can get in a room for over the course of a bye week and devise a game plan that makes you look, you know, a little bit better than you actually are because you have two weeks to prepare for a game? That's kind of the handicap in this one to me is – is this like the Texans mini Super Bowl, right? Like you're coming out of a value of two weeks to prepare for a game. You're going to Vegas. Like, you know, it's afternoon time slot, like the whole nine yards. Like is, you know, what can you get out of this Texan squad? I have a hard lean on Houston plus seven. If mm. it gets to seven and a half, it is an absolute for sure thing mm. for me. A uh, couple things to consider here. The Las Vegas Raiders shouldn't be favored by seven points over anybody in the NFL right now uh, because they are finding ways to lose games. Now, that being said, they found a way to lose a very close one against the Kansas City Chiefs, right? That, that's a yeah. game that they easily could have won. We might be looking at this team very differently had they won that. But a couple things. Uh, Damian Pierce is really, really good. Uh, and really good for Houston. There is a little bit of talent there. And... Derek Stingley is probably going to get Devontae Adams. Derek Stingley has been pretty good this mm -hmm. year, uh, all in all. And Darren Waller is not going to play. Foster Moreau is unlikely to play, although it's still possible. So they might not have any tight ends. Uh, Hunter Renfro is still working his way back. I'm not sure how healthy the weapons are going to be. So if Houston loads up against the run, and tries to force Derek Carr to beat them, that could be a really interesting way for this game to stay within seven points. So lean Houston play it at seven and a half. Yeah. Seven and a half would be interesting for me on the Texan side as well. If we were to get there, what about you over there, Steven? No bet for me. You mentioned Stingley. I'll also just mention that their other corner, Steven Nelson, has a top eight coverage grade by PFF. So they got some guys back there to help against the pass against this uh, this Raiders offense. <laughs> 